Well, last year, uh, we, about this time, we premiered a new suite titled Afro-Eurasian Eclipse. Hi, and welcome to Off to Record, brought to you by Brussels Jazz Weekend, a free city festival each spring in Belgium's capital. Everybody agrees that Duke Ellington is the most important band leader and composer in the history of jazz. He has a career that spans over half a century, so it's difficult, even impossible, to pick just one album. Moreover, uh, when Ellington started playing in the 1920s and started recording, his output was on these little fellas, 78 records, shellac records, and uh, the limit on this format is three minutes on each side. And personally, I would like to recommend one of these shellacs to you, or perhaps even a bunch of these, these shellacs, because I feel that his most creative and most interesting period is when this format was uh, being used. For instance, the band he had in the 1940s, 1940, 1941, uh, which is commonly named the Blanton Webster Band, is amazing, amazing jazz. But we we'll have to dive into the vinyl era. In 1956, Duke Ellington made a famous comeback at the Newport Jazz Festival. Uh, I talk about this in our podcast Jazziness, check it out if you want to. Uh, but it's the moment when Ellington says, let's face it, I was born at Newport. By the 1960s, Duke Ellington was a real veteran. He was revered by almost everyone inside and outside of jazz and was lauded for his career and his music. And the vinyl format helped shape his music in some way. He started composing suites, long pieces of music which are connected with each other, like classical music in one big flow. And these suites were ideally suited to fit on the format of a vinyl album. And again, the choice is plentiful and not that very obvious, but I'm going for this one. The Afro-Eurasian Eclipse. An album which was issued in 1975, the year after the death of Duke Ellington in 1974, at the glorious age of 75. It was actually recorded in 1971, so a couple of years prior, but of course because of the renewed interest in Ellington, the person, the man and his music, it was quickly issued by fantasy under the supervision of Ellington's own son, Mercer Ellington. The Afro-Eurasian Eclipse is an example of jazz music as a world music. It's a composition from a man who by then was turning 70, but like Ellington himself said, 70, what are you talking to me about age? An up-and-coming man like me? Uh, this is a man who's had the experience of being a band leader and a composer for more than 50 years, who's traveled all around the world and who's seen every corner of the globe, and who tries to fuse all these influences, this, these exotic sounds, into his own music, jazz music. So it's essentially a Western jazz album, but with elements of exoticism over it. This is of course perfect music to enjoy while you're traveling. So take your portable record player and let Duke Ellington be your guide to every corner in the world. Enjoy! Off the Record is a jazzy online video series brought to you by the Free City Festival Brussels Jazz Weekend. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't miss a single episode.